Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Wild fish. As GL drove us down the rugged road that paralleled Crab Creek, we were enjoying the wildlife and the scenery. However, we didn't lose sight of our main focus, Big Rainbow. Okay, Ladin, we're gonna walk into this and you don't have to worry about being above the fish here. The water's so roily and noisy, it's okay. really hard to put them down. So right. we're just gonna walk right up to that edge and uh, primarily fish this right-hand side and then down in right in front of you. Okay, yeah. great, do it. Thanks. I'll slip on your left. And Ladin's set on everything here. There's okay. vertical eddies, and you're never as tight to those flies as you think you are. So your brain notices anything going on with that indicator, punch it. Okay. And That's the perfect cast, Ladin, right down that edge. Just kind of lead it real slow with the rod. Yeah, perfect. Set. Got it. Yeah. Oh, oh nice fish. fish. Oh, good fish. fish. Perfect. And let him run. It's gonna. Okay. This water's in the low 50s. He's gonna have a lot of spunk. Okay. Good job, my friend. Thank you. Wow. The fish was darting back and forth across the deep pool. Holy smoke! Oh, that, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's over 20. <laughs> the rainbow dug down deep. Yeah, don't force him, Ladin. This may take another couple minutes to exhaust him to where we can get to get at him. Oh, I thought You can see how deep it is. We can't even see your indicator at all. Yeah. As she gets tired, I'll hop down in the water and net her down there. Okay. Oh, this is a special place. Yeah, this is awesome. I fall asleep at night thinking about this. It's yeah. One of my clients yesterday, as we walked in here, looked at it and he said, Man, this is like the garden, of, a mini Garden of Eden. Yeah. <laughs> it's I would like, agree. yeah, it's one of those special places. Woo. Garden of Eden with big fish. Yeah, yeah. That's, that. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to hop down in there. GL headed down the bank and scooped the rainbow. Got him. Yeah. Wow. Ladin, if you'd hold the net a little sure, bit and then a, and keep it under her while I lift her up. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh. Huge fish. Oh. Beautiful bow. Awesome. Get a wow. nice look at the camera. And Woo. Back she goes. Nice. Wow, oh. Yeah, good job. Thank you, sir. Perfect. Awesome. Great way to start the day, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, now we hope for a couple more. Oh, I'm happy just with that. No, no, <laughs> gotta, gotta have a greed factor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you convinced me. It's never good enough. Yeah. There's so much stuff out here, Ladin, when you familiarize yourself with the botanical and the zoological community. There's so many root crops. This is Douglas's onion, uh, forms a pink flower, and they're fairly spicy, almost to the point of being garlic, so you don't want to eat them raw. Then there's uh, miner's lettuce growing on these rocks ledges that uh, is almost as mild as iceberg lettuce. And then this is, uh, as the Colvilles call it, couscous. It's in the carrot family, uh, Lomatum cus, and they use the uh, root. It uh, is very fibrous, so they would either dry it and pound it into flour or use it fresh in stews. And then there's camas that just got done blooming, which is in the hyacinth family, and that has a bulb like a tulip or daffodil. So there's, once you realize what's out here, there, it really is a bountiful place. And very cool. Steve and GL got into position to fish a small side channel of Crab Creek. On this, with this bright light, Steve, you can see how it gets shallower, but you want to be throwing it right into the foam of the falls, because in a plunge pool, the deepest water is right under that foam, and that's where the majority of fish will be stuck up in under that. Okay. 
Okay, right, so great. let's slip in and I like to get in about mid river, go up maybe 10 feet once you get out in the middle. Perfect, Steve, right there. Good. Steve made his first cast. Good. Set. Got him. Oh, yeah. Good. Nice. <laughs> Good. Jeez. That was hard. Right on it. <laughs> and I think he was on it before you even set. Yeah. yeah, normally this time of year we'd be starting the day, water temperatures in the high 50s, but we're high 40s, low 50s. So trout got a lot of spunk. Yeah, that's nice. Fish. Oh, this is pretty fish. See, and people don't really think of nymphing streamers. Oh, yeah. But very effective. This is a triploid that's been in here for several years and is starting to color up much more like a native fish if she'll calm down. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Wow. Beautiful fish. Gorgeous little girl. He calls, he calls it little. Hole. <laughs> yeah. Said so he calls her little. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. St she's still got some growing up to do. <laughs> oh, that was very nice. That worked out good. Good sure, hook set. It, yeah. Right away, I was a little slow on the hook set, but there was mm -hmm. enough there that kept it in there. And yeah. Hard to argue with success. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hard to be too slow when you get them. Yeah, that was cool. I would try back on that same side over to the right. Okay. Tuck it up in there. Perfect. That's that's where you want it. Just perfect. Oh, yeah. oh that's oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, that had weight to it when it said that hook. Wow. A lot of people never think of uh, hanging a bunny leech or a string leech or a zonker or a sculpin pattern and nymphing with them under an indicator. Yeah. But uh, there's nothing easier to catch than a dead sculpin and the trout. Oh, yeah. Have that figured out, and sometimes when there's a lot of guys throwing streamers and stripping them, a dead drifted one a lot way out fish a strip streamer. Learn something new. That's awesome. Yeah, it's only a, try that. only a year and a half old for me as well. Cool. But that's over six feet right where it plunges in. So even though yeah. it doesn't look like a big pool, it's a it's, great spot for a fish. That's cool. Oh, this is a beautiful fish, Steve. Yeah, it is. It is very. Watch that second fly. Oh, man. Yeah. It's a steelhead. Baby. Yeah, Woo. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smoke. Oh, man. Look at that, that nice cromer. Fish. Jeez. Oh. I, I would definitely say this, the fish are bigger than last time we were here. <laughs> well, all it takes mm. is to let those fish age. Yeah. If you keep that fish and put him in the frying pan at 16 inches, you're never going to see him at these uh, sizes. Amazing. Uh, well, and it's our 11th, 11th year on the ranch, and we haven't killed intentionally killed a fish yeah. over 11 years. Jeez, that is amazing. Oh, and great hook set. And I'm going to go ahead and release her. Okay. All right. Wow. Nice tail kick. Yep. What good catch and release, what it can do for a fishery. And even, you know, even more to just try and work to make the fishery a good yes. fishery. Yes, yes. Not just catch and release. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, you did a good job of playing her. And thanks, thanks. Perfect. This uh, landscape has been changed significantly since the uh, first settlers arrived. There was a, a lot more brush along the creek in the early days uh, to the point where probably it would have been really difficult to find a place where you could, would have been open enough to fly fish but uh, it still has amazing productivity for fish. Uh, it does get a little warm in the summer. We uh, call this during July and August. We normally fish it just from uh, around mid-February through the end of June and then pick up sometime mid to late September. What you want to do here, Ladin, is just, and the fish can be anywhere. This is like a lake, they're cruising around, mm -hmm. but uh, just get that over halfway across the channel, give it a good uh, 10 seconds for the little marabou bug to get vertical. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a good oh, one too. Good Very good. Okay. I'm gonna go grab the net. Yeah. we hopefully need the net. This is a big fish. Okay. Oh! oh 
Oh. 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 Wow. See these pieces of wood? Right. Don't want him in tight. Okay. Here. Is there some over there too? No. This okay. Is the only spot right here. Okay. Wow. What a fish. Crab Creek Double Spay Outfitters. Unbelievable fish. GL managed to work his way down the steep bank and netted the rainbow. Wow. That's pretty tough for you to get down there and land that no, thing. Just... Wow. Dude. Very nice. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that fish is really neat. It's kind of a deeper hole. And I cast out that woolly bugger and I'm stripping it in just like GL told me. And bam -o, big old rainbow trout uh, grabbed it. Man, it's just an awesome fight. We call this the tree run, kind of sarcastically, Steve. The uh, Almost all our fish come out of the slot down the middle. This one's just like a bull. The deepest water in it is right down the middle third. Uh, we've got a Prince Nymph and a brown sugar on, on 3X, and uh, the indicator, so with this uh, upstream wind, it should be pretty easy to cast. And, uh, we'll just move up here a little bit further and uh, see what we can get. All right, that's good. Yeah, just drop one in the middle, maybe straight out almost, and, and work our way up. Yeah. Is that far enough out? Yes. Okay. There we go. Oh, <laughs> man. Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was cool. He's cruising. <laughs> I found the school of little ones. Maybe if I get real close to them. They'll look, look big. <laughs> what do you think? Could try it. <laughs> One thing that's really cool about fishing here at Crab Creek with GL is, you know, there's a lot of small fish and that's fun. You just know just around the next corner or the next cast, there's a big fish waiting to bite. There it is. Yeah, that one's got weight to it. Perfect. Oh yeah. Steve pulled the big rainbow toward GL. Nice. All right. <laughs> nice. Also, small Hmm. Boy. Like a 18, 20, yeah. three, four pounds, three yeah. pounds, probably somewhere in there. Beautiful. Yeah. There you go, girl. All right. All right. Nice. Thank you, GL. That good. Yep. That was nice. I really had to work for that fish. I cast probably, I don't know, 50 times and caught a few small ones. Had to really keep my focus and finally set the hook on the big one. Yeah, Steve just spent about a half hour casting through this run, finally hooked one. I took over the ride, five casts later, bingo. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. It is a good one. Yeah, wow, that's a good fish. Holy smokes. That's a beauty. This fish I saw when it came up and flashed, I could just tell it was a nice fat rainbow. Yikes. And, and you were saying that they can grow how many inches a year? Uh, the, the young uh, native fish that. Uh, a one-year-old fish looking at scales can be anywhere from four and a half, five inches all the way up to ten, ten and a half inches in his first year. Okay. And the fish made a long, powerful run. Wow, look at him out there. What a gorgeous. See that thing just <laughs> shiny? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to bring him this way. Yeah. Good 
Good job. Thanks. What Thanks, it, Jill. <laughs> yeah. Look at the size of that. Oh, oh yeah. I'll hold the net. Man. Jeez. What a hog fat this girl is. Oh hog. my. Wow. Good job, man. Oh wow. Yeah. Thank you, man. I don't know what happened. Thing went down and I actually hooked it and that was great. Perfect. That was fun. Perfect. All right. Good job. Thanks. Appreciate that. Wow. All of a sudden I can cast farther and my attention's back. You lost your attention in fork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take much. There you go. Good heavens, I got it. <laughs> it's just, I think it's small because it keeps. <laughs> well, the not floating, so there's something on it. Yeah. Ready. It could be a big fish. Oh, yeah. There, it, oh, it's not. <laughs> I was, I was, whoa. But I will say it's an active fish. I'm not sure who's the man around here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny, man. When I Aladdin's here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, when I set the hook on that one, I just I felt like it was coming right at me, so I started sprinting down the bank. But after a while, I realized it wasn't quite as big as the last one I caught. Pretty but a beautiful one. fish. Yep. Steve, this one we call the camera run, and it's uh, one of the deeper runs. On the middle part of the ranch, there's some water in this that's almost five feet deep, right. and it's a good spot to get a nice fish. Watch out for that tree that's behind you that's got a lot of flies up in it. All right, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Wild fish. <laughs> Oh, wow. look at that thing go. My goodness. Spectacular. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. That thing just was skyrocketing out of the water. Gonna end up being a male and may even spawn next year. Wow, cool. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On fire yeah, I had a feeling that was a good cast. But right in next to the. Gorgeous. Yeah, good job, Steve. Thank you. Two casts in a row. Yeah. We had a great time at Crab Creek. The wildlife, the scenery, and of course, the incredible fish, and the knowledge of an expert guide all made it a day to remember. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Lad. Having fun catching fish. Hey, folks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.